how to make a living room sofa table with Dollar Tree frames. Hey guys, Yuri Essentials here. For today's video, I'm going to be making a sofa table and I'm going to be using Dollar Tree frames to beautify the table. I'm going to start by taking off the parts that I don't need. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I'm also going to be using these plates that I got from Party City, but they also sell them at the Dollar Tree. And I have to be honest with you guys, I saw these plates last about two years ago and I think it's a seasonal thing. So watch out because they just might come back this year. For this project, I'll be using just the lip of the plates. I used these to make a wall decor not too long ago. Now, if you're interested in that wall decor, I will leave a link for it down in the description box below. Now that I've got my pieces, I'm going to be attaching them to the frames. I'll be attaching these to wood. I'm going to be measuring the height of the wood that I'll be needing for this project and then I'll cut it down to size. After measuring what I need, I'm going to be joining the pieces together for the table. I made two of this. And then I use the frame to measure the distance in between for it to fit just right. And I'll be using this piece of wood and cutting it to size. And I'll be making several pieces of the cuts and attaching these pieces to give me the actual space that I need in the middle for the table. I'll be using a strong adhesive and a staple gun to keep these pieces in place.
When I was done, I positioned what I just made at the back of the sofa where I want this to be. And the size looks okay, so what I did was to take it out and spray paint it silver. I left some parts of it because I will be covering those parts with mirrors. But before attaching the mirrors, I'm going to be attaching the frames first with a strong adhesive and a hot glue gun. The third frame is too high, so I'm going to cut it down to size before attaching it. I'll repeat the same thing for the other side before gluing on the mirrors to the wood. The mirrors I'm using are leftover pieces from another project. So at the top here, I didn't get anything that's long enough. So because of that, I'll move this to the middle and get smaller pieces for the two sides that are open. I've just joined the extra pieces. Now you can see that the plates still show here at the back, so I'm going to be spray painting them silver to make them look uniform. Here are some extra little mirror pieces that I'll be adding on the inside of the table. These extra frames that I have will be placed at the top. I'll be attaching them with a strong adhesive and a hot glue gun. I'll be using diamond wraps to cover up the wood that's at the bottom. Now to make this a complete table that's functional, I got glass from Lowe's, cut it down to size, and I placed it on top of what I just made. Now I can see the design of the frames underneath the glass, which was the whole idea of this design in the first place, and I love the way it looks. Thank you all so much for watching. Now I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And before you go, don't forget to click on the subscribe button.